social robots have tapped into this kind of primal need that we have for connection, but they're not reading our emotions, not yet. That will come next in 2025, which I'll call the age of machine-readable emotion. So Gartner came out with this really interesting report recently that said by 2022, our machines will know more about us and about our emotions than our own family members will. And a lot of people are like, ah, the horror, that's awful. But I'll, I'll give you this. Your phone, at least if you're like me, knows more about you than where you've been, what you've done, what you've looked at, so I feel like our technology is already getting to this place, but what's gonna happen over the next few years is that there's gonna be technology that attempts to detect some physical signals of our emotion. And it will do this in a variety of different ways. It will do this through voice, tone of voice through our face, through our gestures, even our walk, brain waves, all these different ways. And right now it's being distilled into some basic emotions, and there's a lot of contention over are emotions universal, are any emotions universal, what constitute these. The technology now is making some assumptions that they're these emotions, probably incorrect, um, but nevertheless, and it's already being put into place in a lot of different ways. So a this is already a couple years back. Jaguar and Wimbledon partnered up and they had people wear wearable devices on their wrist to track their blood pressure to get a sense of excitement. They had sensors embedded in the stadium to detect movement in a way, trying to get some sense of excitement. And then they followed along on Twitter and did sentiment analysis and created visualizations like this to show out to the people at the event to get a sense of, oh, here's the excitement in the room, or there's, there's disappointment on this court, um, and let people kind of share in that experience in a new way. This is being used in games. This is a biofeedback game called Nevermind, where when you are playing the game through facial detection, and also wearables, if you have them on, it will detect signs of anxiety and stress and give you an entirely different experience based on your emotional state. And the idea behind the game is to help you manage and regulate and better understand your emotions through playing the game. So you can see that emotion artificial intelligence is already starting to be in use, mostly in these three ways. One way is to adjust the system itself to our responses. So if we're feeling a certain way, we're feeling stressed, it will adapt. If we're feeling um, the need for connection, it may give us some suggestions. The second way is to teach us better emotional skills um, and to help us manage and, our, and understand our own emotions. And then the third way will be to form relationships.